Hey everybody, I am John Barker and welcome back to another episode of Here to Record Show and Tell. This is part two of the Multicamzilla uh, setup. In the last video, you can check it out here. I give you a brief overview of what the, uh, the system is and what all the parts are. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use this little controller and um, all the Multicamzilla pieces. Uh, you can control your ATEM, you can control these cameras and you can basically just sit in one location and control everything. The cameras, uh, framing, zoom, um, all the settings on the cameras. You can also control your ATEM switcher, all that good stuff just from uh, this one controller. So the way all this works is the controller connects up to your computer uh, via USB and then through controller mate, the software, it talks to the pan, tilt, zoom heads uh, wirelessly. So there's another step in there and off the shelf, the, the controller mate software that comes with the Multicamzilla, it will talk directly to the application on your, uh, on your computer. So in this case, uh, it will talk directly to ATEM software control on your actual computer. But what that means is whenever you hit cut or a button on this controller that means cut, what that means is that it will bring uh, this to the front of the um, of the window. So you can't really use your computer at the same time as you're cutting between things. Uh, the ATEM software control will keep popping up to the front because that's just the way it works. Um, it has to talk to the actual software and it'll just keep popping up. I didn't want that. And um, there's a way where I can use an existing setup. So I have been previously using a MIDI controller and that has been talking through my computer via OSC later. And then that, touch, that talks to ATEM OSC. Again, you can watch a, a video on all this up there, but that's how that worked. And what's nice about this setup is that you can use this controller to send out MIDI commands, um, which then are turned into OSC commands via OSC later and then that talks to ATEM OSC and that talks to your ATEM. I know it's getting a little bit, uh, a lot of programs along the way, but trust me, once you start controller mate, OSC later, ATEM OSC, once you start them, put them on your, um, on your computer and then just hide them and you'll never need to look at them again once it's all configured and set up. Start them before you start your show and then you can use this controller and it'll work perfectly fine. Um, but you just need to make sure you start them all. But other than that, it's okay, you've got it running in the background and it'll do its thing and you can sit there and control this. So I'm just gonna give you a really quick overview of how I've made this work and um, maybe in a future video or if you have any specific questions, let me know in the comments and then I can take you through a little more detailed version of how this works. Um, but basically, in the controller mate uh, software, um, I have basically these buttons set up here. So button one, two, three, and button four. And when they're pressed on the computer, I'm pressing them on my uh, controller here. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. You can see them light up there and, um, and send out, uh, what they do is send a, a MIDI note. So if I jump into this a little bit tighter, um, this is a MIDI note thing. If you don't know controller mate, that's okay. Um, there's a configuration that comes with your Multicamzilla and you can jump in there, press buttons, and you'll see how things kind of work together. And um, what I'm doing is just small little edits, nothing too crazy. So in here, um, these are the uh, preview commands, but if I jump over to take commands, so this is what we want to look at here. Um, I'll just delete these out of the way. So basically what happens is whenever I press button number six on my uh, little rumble pad, it'll send out this note and it'll send out it on channel one. Um, and if I press button number eight, it'll send out a different uh, note on a different channel. So as I press these buttons here, you can see there that it lights up green. And if I press the other one, it lights up green. So basically what we have here is a cut command and a dissolve command. Cut, dissolve. Now, if I head over to eight, or OSC later, and I just close out that, and I hit my cut button, down here I should be able to see my note coming in. So you can see it goes green there, and that's the note coming in. And what's that? what that's doing is sending a uh, ATEM transition cut OSC message. Again, check out that ATEM OSC video I made previously. Uh, just for a little more 
crash course on how this all works. But it's sending out that cut, and then over here I have ATEM OSC running. As you can see, nothing really happening on there. It's just talking between this OSC later and the ATEM. It's kind of like the little app in the middle, and it's hitting cut. So if I check out my multi-view on my switcher and press my cut button, which is this top, uh, this top button up here, if I hit that, you can see that it's actually sending a cut command over to the um, to the ATEM. If I just open up the software control panel again and don't press any buttons, there you can see that cut's happening. Same goes for the dissolve. You can see that as I hit that dissolve button, it's uh, it's doing a dissolve. So that's pretty cool. As you can see there, you can just sit back from your computer in a nice relaxed position and you can hit that cut and it'll cut between the cameras on your uh, ATEM. Very nicely done. Uh, a step further, obviously, is to actually bring up cameras on preview and control those cameras, get the shot right, and then hit cut. So if we go back over to controller mate, into the switcher preview commands, and then I've edited this as well based on the, the configuration that comes with the multicam zilla. But I have my buttons along the top here, and these are my pretty much my camera buttons, right? So camera one, camera two, camera three, camera four. And as I press those four buttons on the controller, camera one, camera two, camera three, and camera four, you can see the corresponding buttons being uh, flagged up there in controller mate. And what those are doing, again, is just sending out a note. And if I head back over to OSC later, and I can just see right here, no MIDI note number three is coming in as I press that button. And that's sending an OSC message to the ATEM, and that's saying ATEM preview one. And then if you see my multi-view there, I can go between each of these shots on the preview. One, two, three, and four. Really nicely done. So what you can see here is me being able to sit back and set up my one, two, three, four camera shots, and then I can put one on preview, cut between it, put another one on preview, dissolve between it, so how does this all connect together in terms of Multicamzilla and the ATEM? Well, what I haven't mentioned so far is that when I press number one on my controller, not only does that bring up camera number one on the preview of the ATEM, but that also means that I can now control the camera with the joysticks. So I can set up the, uh, the pan, the tilt, I can zoom in, there you can see my GH5 getting the shot um, here. And whenever I'm ready to take that shot, I just press my cut button, which is the top button up here. And there we go, I'm ready. And then in the meantime, while that shot's on, on, uh, on air, I can go to number two, camera number two, and then I can use that and I can use my controller here to, you can just about see me there on the GH5 display, but I can use my controller here to uh, jump in, get a nice shot here and then I can cut to that. And then I can just go from there. So I can get one shot ready, cut to it, and then get the other shot ready, cut to it. I can also cut to my, in this case, my laptop, uh, direct screen if I want to show that to somebody. And while I'm showing that to somebody, I'm taking my camera one, I'm getting a nice wide shot. And then when I'm ready to do that, I hit dissolve, I can roll into that. You can see there, if I had two more of these devices, I could have a four camera setup or up to eight camera setup on the multi-camzilla um, system. Sit back and control all the cameras from here, cut between them, and then those signals are sent to the laptop, which are converted to MIDI, which are then converted to OSC. I know it's a lot of steps, but it all happens really fast as you can see here. And that's it. I hope you find that useful. Again, if there's any specific questions or anything that wasn't quite clear, then just let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to try and answer it for you. Um, and I'll also try and work out a, a better explainer blog post as well that really just talks about all the steps to get this working. But I hope it inspires you in some way to show you that you can sit back, you can use these nice uh, controllers just to you know cut between your cameras and do all that cool stuff. You can also, like I mentioned in the previous video about Multicamzilla, set up your cameras at a distance, control them, change the settings with the menus and all that good stuff. So I'll see you in the next video and thank you for watching. Bye bye.